Hi students, how are you? I am Shiva, Faculty of Physics. Today I am here in order to discuss the concepts of 8th standard that is electric field due to the dipole on what point? On axial point. So here first of all we can recall two formulas from our previous classes. These two formulas we can use in order to calculate the electric field. First of all, if you know the test charge, you can calculate the electric field with the help of this formula E is equal to F by Q, where F is the force experienced by the test charge. Similarly, if you know the source charge magnitude, we can use this formula to calculate the electric field that is E is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into Q by R square. So with the help of these two formulas, we can calculate the electric field that is created by the source charge. Now consider the dipole as shown in figure. So this is charge minus Q, this is charge plus Q. Both charges are separated by the distance 2L. We are taking some point P. That point P lies on the axial of the dipole at R distance from its center and plus Q lies at what distance uh, this point P R minus L minus Q lies at what distance from this P automatically R plus L. Now you can calculate the net field at point P. So here plus Q and minus Q behaves like source charges. The electric field due to the charge plus Q we are saying as E due to plus Q. The electric field due to minus Q we are saying as E due to minus Q. Clearly we are seeing E plus Q and E minus Q are opposite to each other. So now we can write the resultant electric field at point P as E due to plus Q minus E due to minus Q. Since both electric fields are opposite to each other, we are using vector subtraction. So here again, what is E due to plus Q? We can use this formula. Why? Since plus Q is what charge? Source charge. Now we can write as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R minus L whole square. Similarly, what is E due to minus Q? Minus Q also one more source, source charge that lies at what distance to the point P that is R plus L. Now we can write down 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R plus L whole square. Okay, here clearly we are seeing 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q as common factor. Now we can take it outside. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q as well as take the LCM. Now we can write as R plus L whole square minus of R minus L whole square divided by R square minus L square whole square. So clearly we are seeing in the numerator the algebraic identity a plus b whole square minus of a minus b whole square. That's why the numerator we can write as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q into so it will become 2 2rl plus 2rl. Totally it will become 4rl divided by r square minus l square whole square. Okay, suppose if you are taking the dipole is short. So what do you mean by the dipole is short? So dipole is short nothing but this R is so much greater than greater than when compared with 2L. Nothing but if R is greater than greater than 2L then what we can write? R square minus L square whole square is approximately equal to R power 4. That's why the step we can write as again. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into okay so now this numerator I am writing in the form 2 into q into 2l okay so 2 into q into 2l is still what for us 4 qrl into r divided by according to this condition it will become r power 4 so since here 1 r 1 r gets cancelled it will become r cube again you know the definition of the electric dipole moment that is we can write as P is equal to Q into 2L. P is equal to 
q into 2l. Now replace q into 2l by p and this expression now we can write as e is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into 2p by r q. So the electric field due to this dipole at point p now we can write as finally 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into 2p by r q. This resultant field direction you can see in the direction of the e due to plus q. This is e net na. So what we wrote here as e net. Now e net is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into 2p by r q lies in the direction of e due to plus q. Suppose if you want to express this one in vector notation, clearly we are seeing here the direction of the dipole moment p bar is from minus q to plus q. So this is the direction of the dipole moment. Direction of the dipole moment from minus q to plus q that is rightward. Resultant field also we are seeing in what direction? Rightward. That's why the direction of the e net and p bar is same. That's why we can write this expression again e net to bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 p bar by r q. So this is the vector equation for the calculation of the electric field due to the dipole at the axial point that lies at what distance from the center that is r. Remember this expression valid only for short dipoles that is whenever you are seeing the approximation r greater than greater than 2l at that time only this expression for us valid. So when the dipole is not short, when the dipole having some dimensions that are comparable at that time, we can use this expression. Okay. So keep this point in your mind. Okay. I hope uh, this lecture understood by you well. We will meet with one more new concept in the next session. Okay. Thank you for watching.